Hello friends. For some reason, if you want to bring back your Fire TV stick or Fire TV box to factory default status, you are watching the right video. We are on Fire TV home page. Before proceeding further, make sure that there will be no power interruption to your Fire TV device during this reset process. Your Fire TV device may brick in case of power interruption in the reset process. Let's get started. Let's scroll to right and go to settings. Now let's scroll to device and click. Here let's scroll down to reset to factory defaults. Let's click it. Here let's click on reset. Now reset of your Fire TV device has started. Since I will fast forward the video at few places, I have put a timer on the right top corner. This will help us to have a rough idea about the time taken by different reset processes. Fire TV device remote is disconnected which is obvious as all the settings are being wiped out. Now Fire TV device is rebooting. Fire TV device has rebooted again. Optimization of system storage and applications has started. Here it is mentioned that whole optimization process will take around 10 minutes but usually it will be completed much before that. In case you want to give your Fire TV device to someone else and don't want to share your login details and other info, it is better to reset your device to factory default settings which is safe and easy. If you have installed number of apps on your Fire TV device and the storage is full, to recover the storage you have to uninstall apps individually. Instead of taking pain in uninstalling unnecessary apps individually, it is easy to bring back your Fire TV device to factory default settings. But yes, you have to repeat the whole setup process and install needed apps again. You are the best just to decide which process will be more suitable for you. You can see that it took less than 5 minutes for the whole reset process to complete. It may vary in case of your device. Now your device is reset to factory default. You can pair your remote with Fire TV device and repeat the whole setup process. Let's conclude this video here. If you found this video useful, please hit the thumbs up icon. Please also share this video in your social circle. It will encourage us to upload more videos. If you have not yet subscribed our channel, please do subscribe our channel A1 Help. Please also click on bell icon to get notifications of our forthcoming videos. For any query or suggestion, please leave a message in the comment box. Let's meet again in next video. Thanks for watching till end.